Now we're going to talk about factoring trinomials when the leading coefficient, or a, is equal to 1. So the first thing we want to do is check for a GCF, and then we want to make sure the trinomial is in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c. Then we're going to list the factors of c. Don't forget to consider the negatives. Determine which factors of c add to make b. Don't forget to see if b is positive or negative. And then these two factors of c will be added or subtracted from x in order to form the two factors of the trinomial. So example one, I need the factors of 5 that add to be 6. So my factors of 5, I have 5 times 1, and that's it, 5 and 1. I want to check to make sure that they add up to be 6, and they do. So my final answer is going to be x plus 5, or x plus 1, times x plus 5. Either one of those would be correct. Commutative property says they can be in either order. All right, example 2, I need the factors of 12 that add to be negative 8. So my factors of 12 are 1 and 12. They're 2 and 6. They are 3 and 4. Or I can have negative 1 and negative 12, negative 2 and negative 6, negative 3 and negative 4. And of those, the only two that add together to be negative 8 are negative 2 and negative 6. So this is the factor pair that I'm looking for. So my final answer is going to be x minus 2 times x minus 6. If I want to double check, I can use my multiplying with the box method. x minus 2, x minus 6, x times x is x squared, x times negative 2 is negative 2x, x times negative 6 is negative 6x, and negative 2 times negative 6 is 12. So I have x squared minus 8x plus 12, and it works. All right, next example, I need factors of negative 21 that add to be negative 4. So I could have negative 3 and 7, and I could have negative 7 and 3. I could have negative 21 and 1, and I could have 21 and negative 1. Of those, negative and 7 plus 3 is what adds to be negative 4. So that's my factor pair. So my answer is going to be x minus 7 times x plus 3. And those can be in either order. Quick check. x minus 7, x plus 3, x times x is x squared. Negative 7 times x is negative 7x. x times 3 is 3x. Negative 7 times 3 is negative 21. x squared, negative 7x plus 3x is negative 4x. Negative 21 checks out. Last example, I have 2x plus 16x, sorry, 2x squared plus 16x plus 30. I want to check for that GCF first, and I have a GCF of 2, so I'm going to go ahead and factor that out. So that results in 2 times x squared plus 8x plus 15. And then I'm going to focus on factoring the trinomial inside. So I need factors of 15 that add to be 8. So my factors of 15 are 1 and 15 negative 1 and negative 15, 3 and 5, and negative 3 and negative 5. Of those, 3 plus 5 equals 8, so that's the factor pair I'm going to use. I'm going to bring the 2 down, and then I have x plus 3 times x plus 5. So that's completely factored. The hard part about this is when you have a GCF, you need to remember to bring that GCF down as well. Quick check. I have x plus 3, I have x plus 5, x times x is x squared, 3x, x times 5 is 5x, 3 times 5 is 15, I have x squared plus 8x plus 15, which is what I had inside those parentheses. So we're done.